we actually own two properties out here, Cottrell and Suvla. About 90,000 acres roughly in both of them. Um, and we've, we farm beef cattle and merino wool. In the rain event we had earlier on this year, oh, everything was sort of, wasn't going along real flash because you know, it was pretty dry up to then and then um, Evans opened up and sort of halfway through the rain I kept on saying to Sandra she's starting to get serious this, this rain we're, we're in for trouble. We were way down in our numbers and everything because of um, the drought. In percentages we probably only had 25 to 30 percent of our, our carrying capacity on hand. If we had more we'd had real big losses but probably luck happened in that respect that we didn't have more on. Every cattle pad in the district is just washed out, you know. There's just gullies where there was no gullies before. We are coming to grips now with how much damage has been really done. The um, $75,000 grant, well, yeah, when it come up, we thought to ourselves that, oh, no, we probably wouldn't be entitled to that, and then spoke to different people around and give our old mate Rachel a ring, and she said, no, go for it. What we'll do is we'll sit down with them and have a look at their entire situation and let them know what they may be eligible for and see how these new grants um, that will help them um, get out of the situation that they in, you know, take some of the repair costs away and some of the stock replacement away for them. We put in an application for it and we were able to um, get some fencing material and had a fair bit of fencing that we had to repair. It's been a great help, a really great help. Without it, we, yeah. Uh, we probably wouldn't be here today without it, really. I would strongly advise people to get in touch with me, you know, lots of Rachel. If they're not sure about it, get in touch with it to um, give them a hand, just to um, put them, point them in the right direction more so than anything.